Hi, I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and you just purchased the Mila Compact C2 Electro Plus Canister Vacuum Cleaner. Hope you're excited. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm going to tell you all about your machine. I'm gonna tell you what all the different components are in, that are included in the box that you probably just opened or haven't opened just yet. And then I'm gonna show you how to use and assemble your machine and then how to change your bags and your filters. So stay tuned. First thing I want you to do is I want you to unbox all of the contents that are included in that Mila box. And I want you to make sure that all of these components are present. So what you should have is you should have your canister body. You should have your electric telescoping wand. You should have this U-shaped clip and you can attach the three cleaning attachments to it. And then your hard flooring attachment, your electric carpeting power head, and then your hose and your handle. So just take a few seconds, make sure that you have all of these things present and accounted for, then I'm gonna show you how to use them and what they are. Okay, so hopefully that all of your contents were present in the box. If not, if you're missing something, now's the time to reach out to us. You can call us, you can chat us on our website, or you can email us. So just make sure that all the components are present. And now I'm just going to tell you a little bit about each one of them. So this is your canister body. This is your electric wand. This is a telescoping electric wand. And how it telescopes is there's a little button on the back of your wand. You press that button and you're gonna extend your wand or you're going to retract it. So this is how you're gonna find the exact height that you're going to need um, when you're vacuuming your different flooring. So this is called your Vario clip, this little U-shaped clip. And this is to attach your accessories to. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your dusting brush, your upholstery tool, and your crevice nozzle, and you're gonna put them on this clip. And then you can attach this clip, once I show you how, um, to the um, base of your hose, and that's how your roll attachments are gonna clip on, and they'll roll around with you wherever you go. And then this is your hard flooring attachment. And as you can see on the underside, there's bristles of varied lengths. This is going to make it very easy to clean all of those hard flooring surfaces in your home. And you can get deep down into the grout of tile or any cracks and crevices for hard flooring. This is a really nice tool to have. We love this hard flooring attachment. And then here is your electric carpeting power head. So this power head has five height adjustments. So if you're standing behind your power head like I am, there's going to be two different levers. And the one on the left hand side is going to release your wand from the upright lock position. And the other one is to adjust the height of your spinning brush roll or your beater bar, which is this. So if you have very low pile carpeting, you're probably gonna be on a level one or two, that's gonna be the closest, level one's the closest, level five is the furthest away. If you have thicker pile carpeting, more medium or plush pile carpeting, you're gonna to wanna to just go all the way up to level five and then work your way down. You wanna just make sure you find a height that is going to be very easy for you to push across your carpeted surfaces, um, but you're still getting a really good deep clean. So generally speaking, if you have very low pile carpets, you'll be on a level one or two. If you have medium carpets, you'll be on like a two or three. And then if you have ultra plush thick pile carpet, you're gonna be on a four or five. And then finally, you have your hose and there's two different sides to this. And I'll show you what this little cord is in a second. But I want you to take note of your handle. There's a little X that's like a motion symbol and an O. So you have everything attached like I'll show you in the next step and you have this on X that is going to turn the spinning brush roll or the beater bar on your carpeting power on that is going to make the bristles spin. If you have it on O it is going to turn it off. There will be no spinning brush roll components um, on on your power head if your power head's connected to your wand. And you're probably wondering why I'm mentioning this. If you have delicate carpeting or you have a rug or carpeting with tassels on it, this is a really nice option to know about because if you've ever vacuumed up a rug with tassels, it goes straight into the power head and it gets all caught and it's terrible and it'll damage your rug. So this is Mila's um, save all for that situation. So you can just turn it off, vacuum up the tassels, still get the dust and debris off of there. And then once you're away from the tassels, you can turn it back on, you can turn your spinning brush roll and your agitator back on.
It's a really nice feature. So that's a little bit about all of the accessories included in your um, Electro Plus. So now I'm gonna show you how to assemble and change your bags and filters. Next up, I'm gonna show you your bags and your filters. So if you, there's this little, let me angle this down. There's like a little clip on the top of your canister. This is called your handle. And right below there, there's a little clip and you're going to squeeze it like this and you're gonna pull it up because I think your canister will be more like this <laughs> on the ground, not like how I'm doing it. But this is your bag clip and this is what your bag clips into. And we wanna make sure that this clip stays in the body of your canister. A lot of people think that this whole entire component needs to come out and they pull the entire thing out then you have to replace the bag clip and that's no fun. But if that happens, you can try to reinsert it in there. Sometimes you don't damage it, sometimes you do. Don't worry, bag clips are readily available and we have those in stock. So if that's your, your situation, just give us a call or contact us on live chat or email, we're happy to help. Um, but how to change your bags is you're gonna pull on this little collar part. This is the bag collar and you're gonna pull it out. So this part is your bag clip that you want to stay inside the body of your machine at all times. And this is the part that's going to be coming off of your bag, of, off of your bag clip, sorry. This is your bag, so what your bag will look like. And then your vacuum has two different filters. This model is completely sealed and it comes pre-installed with your HEPA filter, which is right here. HEPA filters are based on time of use. So if you vacuum very frequently, you're gonna go through your HEPA filter a lot faster than somebody who's only vacuuming once a week or maybe once every other week. So HEPA filters are good and they're uh, they're based on time of use. Yes, they're good, sorry about that. Um, they're based on time of use. So you're gonna use your vacuum a lot more, you're gonna re be replacing your HEPA filter a lot more frequently. And then how you'll know how to replace your HEPA filter is if you're looking at your machine, there's gonna be a green circle with a triangle on it. And to the right of that, there's going to be a horizontal white line. That white line will start out as white, and then from left to right, it's gonna to fade to red. So when it gets all red, that's the time to replace your HEPA filter. Make sure you're not overfilling your HEPA filter once it gets to the red order another one. You don't want to be using your vacuum with a full HEPA or charcoal filter if you've upgraded to a charcoal filter. We want um, not full filters because that will put undue stress on your vacuum motor and it'll kill your motor prematurely. So don't overfill your filters. The other filter that's located in your machine is on this pull down grate. That's called your motor filter. So when you purchase your boxes of bags, or if you purchase a performance pack or an XL pack of the FJM bags, which is the bags that this model takes, you're going to have two filters in your box. You're gonna have a rectangular air clean filter. You're never gonna use that because you have a HEPA filter. Don't put it underneath the HEPA filter. Don't put it on top of the HEPA filter. You'll never use that filter, but you will use the spongy filter that has cut lines on it. And that's the filter you'll cut to the size of your machine. So great rule, uh, kind of like a trick of the trade is take out your existing motor filter, put it on the new one, cut it to the same size, and then put the new one in. And then your motor filter is to be changed every four vacuum bags. So your HEPA filter is probably gonna last about a year to a year and a half. Some people don't vacuum that often and so they can stretch it out to about two years. But generally speaking, we find about a year to a year and a half is the lifespan of a HEPA filter for a normal household. So HEPA filter, motor filter, you change your motor filter every four vacuum bags or every one box. And then to insert your bag, Remember you have the FJM bags. So there are little arrows on your bag and they're gonna match the direction of the arrows on your bag clip, which is really nice. You're gonna slide that in and you'll hear a little click sound. You can always um, wiggle it a little bit to make sure it's securely in there. And then this is normal that your bag's a little bit bigger. It's just going to allow your bag to fill to the full capacity of this canister body. So just take your bag, tuck it in there and then close up your vacuum. So now I'm gonna show you how to assemble and use your Electro Plus. So we are going to assemble your vacuum. So this is exciting. So I do want to mention, you do have 
a um, couple little buttons on here. This button is your power button. It's a circle with a line through it. The um, button that has the cord on it, that's your cord winder. So that's going to suck up your cord into the body of your canister, which is really nice. You never have to um, wind a cord again. It's delightful. Then you're going to have a turn dial. So the direction that the smaller portion of the turn dial is at is going to be the suction level that you are at. So this, just think the small, the it's like angle to the smaller thing. That is what you're going to be doing. So most of these models come on minimum suction, which will look something like this. And you're going to want to turn it to maximum. You're pretty much going to be on maximum almost the entire time. So you should be vacuuming your hard flooring on and most all of your carpeting unless you have delicate carpeting. So the symbols on your, for your um, suction settings, you have six suction settings. It goes from maximum, then it goes to parquet flooring, then it goes to the ear symbol, and that's your ultra quiet mode if you are going to be cleaning with when the kids are sleeping or if you have pets that are really sensitive to the vacuum sound, that'll be a great setting for you to clean on. Then you go to area rugs, upholstery, and then your minimum section, which has the drapery um, picture. So if you have any delicate furniture, you want to vacuum the drapes, are going to be sucked back into them. So those are your suction settings. And then the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to connect your hose. I do want to mention, this is our number one question. So my vacuum won't turn on. This cord is probably not, it's generally not plugged in when people call and say that their vacuum won't turn on. They have this model. So this little cord has to be connected under your handle. And I promise you there's a little reservoir for it. And I'm going to show you before I connect your hose. If you're behind your vacuum like this, on the left-hand side, there is a little plug. Hopefully you can see it's right here. That is where this plugs into. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach our hose first. And you're just gonna squeeze this and press it in. And then we're gonna plug in this little plug. That plug is going to be what powers your power head. So if this plug is not in, then your power head won't turn on. So I always just leave the plug in, even if I'm just using my hard flooring attachment, it's just you know easier to switch between flooring attachments. Some people take it off when they're not using their power head. Teach their own. All right, so you have your handle. I mentioned the X and the O. X will turn your beater bar on your power head on. O will turn it off and you're going to connect your handle to your wand. Then you can connect your wand to your flooring attachment of choice. So this is your power head. And again, if you're standing behind it like I am, there's two levers. The right lever is going to how you're going to adjust the height of that spinning brush roll or beater bar. And the left is going to be how you're going to release your wand. And that's how you're actually going to clean. You're probably wondering, why, why can't I get this thing down? So when your uh, vacuum is in the upright lock position like this to take your carpeting power head off, you're going to step on this back little lever and push up, or pull up, sorry. And that's how you're gonna remove your power head and you can collect, connect your hard flooring attachment. I always like to show people that you can do this because this is really nice. You don't have to ever turn your vacuum off when you're cleaning or if you have to go move furniture, you can just put it in there. It's a really nice feature. And then there is a little indentation on this Vario clip and it'll match this little protrusion right here. And this is how you can attach your flooring attachments. And it'll just sit on there. And then as you're cleaning, you can just reach down and put on your different cleaning attachments. It's a really nice feature to have. And then let's show you this. If you don't need the added length of this wand and you just have some precision cleaning to do, such as you want to clean the couch or you're going to vacuum out the cars, it's a really nice feature to know that you can attach any of your attachments, even your flooring attachment, to the base of your handle. So if you wanted to clean your stairs with your power head, but you didn't want the added length of this wand, you could definitely do that. You can also attach your handle to your hard flooring attachment as well. Little things that you never knew were possible. It's so nice. Mila thought of it all. 
Okay, so let's just attach this back. Everything clips, so nice. So now that we've gone over everything that was included with your Electro Plus, what they are and how to use them, now take a few minutes, attach your carpeting head, go vacuum, go clean a little bit, try to get used to everything. And if you still have any questions after using your machine, you don't know what um, height setting to be on with your power head or what suction setting, we're always available and happy to help. You can reach out to us via email, the live chat feature on our website, or you can call us. Uh, we're always here and happy to help. So I hope you are enjoying your Electro Plus. This is a great model and I'm so excited to welcome you to the Mila family. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and happy vacuuming.